So about a month ago, Order Realms released an update where they completely revamped the entire badge system and essentially removed most of the original system. Tasks were now super easy, maybe a little too easy, since you could do them in around two minutes. But there was one thing missing. Rubies. See, in the old system, you can get rubies for each task you completed, so when a system was removed, it really affected newer players. But this has been changed in the recent patch, because I've now added more tasks, ruby rewards, and a tradable currency to buy badger furniture. And with these changes, you can make over 250,000 rubies a month, but I'll be talking about that more later in this video. So I'm going to go ahead and run through everything that was mentioned in the patch notes, but if you'd like to check things out for yourself, the IP for the server is play.orderrealms.com. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Starting things off, they've added over 100 new emojis for people ranked VIP and up. But yeah, there is now a huge selection of emojis to choose from. And out of all the new ones, I'd say my favorites are probably the little two little hearts here. I also really like this flower. And hmm, which face do I really like? That one's kind of cute. Um, I also like the globe. I think this was already here before. They just redid it, but not 100% sure. But yeah, all of the emojis look amazing. The sniffer seed yield from crop scent has increased from two to five seeds to four to six seeds. So that should be a nice change for anyone who uses sniffers. I personally haven't used them since changes were made to them last update. All I really know is you can't AFK and get an infinite amount of seeds from them anymore. But yeah, those are the only two changes that were made that weren't related to Badger, so let's get into that stuff now. There's a new command you can use to access the Badger streaks menu, all you have to do is slash s, or you can do slash streaks as well, and it shows the same menu that Badger has, so you can see the items you need to turn in as well as the other info. You obviously still need to go talk to Badger though in order to accept the task or to turn your items in. In a recent video I made on the Badger update, I remember saying I hope they'd add something like this, since the Badger menu was a feature in the original task system, so I'm happy they've added this now. There's now five daily tasks available from Badger, which also increase in difficulty. You only need to complete your first task though, in order to increase your streak score. So the other four tasks are optional. The first task of each day gives you 24 hours to complete it after accepting it, so if you don't complete the task, it'll carry over to the next day. And the streak score will always count for the day the task was accepted. However, the four extra tasks must be completed within eight hours of accepting the first one. And here is one of the other big changes this patch. Besides them adding more tasks, you can now earn rubies and badger coins for completing your tasks as well. So I'll go ahead and show how this works real quick. So for my task today, I need seven leaf litter, nine raw copper, and a nine crimson stems. Nine raw copper, I don't think I've gotten one that high before. At least like five or something. Let's go ahead and get those items. It appears I do not have enough for raw copper. Do I have, yeah, I do have crimson stems. Got the leaf litter as well. Okay, I just need some raw copper, it looks like. Go ahead and turn these in. You can uh, you can actually shift, shift click this menu now. And there we go, we got 500 rubies and four badger coins. So here are the rewards you get for each task and also the items I turn in for each one just to show it gets slightly harder. Before I go into how you can make a decent amount of rubies from this, let's check out badger coins. If we head into this house over here, we'll find an NPC named Russell. You might remember him from the movie Up, except this guy, yum. He's kind of funny looking. <laughs> Anyways, and as you can see, he sells furniture in exchange for badger coins. All of the badger furniture Russell sells is exclusive to his NPC, which means there's only a few you can get from keys now, which I think is a pretty good change since it wasn't really fun when you just keep rolling banners or wooden carvings because those go for less than 1k each. But yeah, I'll have an image on screen right now with the prices of everything you can purchase from Russell. But anyways, now I should probably talk about what's shown in the title and thumbnail, which is how to make over 250,000 rubies a month because of the changes made in this patch. So first off, if you complete all five tasks every day, you get 4,000 rubies plus 32 badger coins. And Russell actually sells badger keys as I showed in the screenshot a little bit ago, which means every two days you can trade in your badger coins for a key. Badger keys go for around 5,000 rubies on average, so keep that in mind, because not only do you get a key every two days, but you also get keys every five days for hitting a streak milestone. And assuming your streak is over 25, you'll get three keys every five days. So that's 18 keys a month, which is 90k rubies in total. And back to the 32 daily badger coins, if you did turn those into keys, that'll be 15 keys a month, which is a total of 75,000 rubies. And of course, there's the daily 4,000 rubies you get for completing all of your tasks. So that's another 120k a month. So in total, with all the keys and such, you'll earn 285,000 rubies per month. And it only takes 5 to 10 minutes out of your day. It could take more if you're a newer player and you don't have a bunch of spare items laying around. But most of the items are fairly easy to get. So if you don't want to go through the effort of getting something like a gas tier, you could ask around in chat or buy one from an NPC. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I will mention, I have a video I'm planning on making about the best ways to earn rubies, and I hope to release that within the next month or so. So yeah, stay tuned for that. That's about everything that was added in this patch. There were a few random fixes that I'll have on screen right now. But yeah, that's gonna be all for this video. But before you leave though, you should go check out the video I made on the Badger update a couple months ago. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Ordrums content, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!